Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to my channel and of course I am Alina. So I'm going to do a short video this afternoon showing you all how to set a tray for breakfast. Now sometimes we may be entertaining people at our home and we may want to serve them breakfast in bed or we may have our honey, <laughs> our significant other, our partner, what, whichever it is and we may want to surprise them and serve them breakfast in bed. Now, what I've observed, again, I always have to refer to when I was in the industry in terms of setting a tray. Sometimes there was debate on how a tray should be set. For me, what I do, I try to set the tray almost resembling like how I would set a table. And that will give it an easy flow so that when a person is actually looking for whatever is on the tray it's easy access and not looking to now find where is this where is that all right so what i'll do first is i'll go through everything that i have uh that i want to put on the tray now there are some things that may not be on the tray this this afternoon but i just want to still demonstrate you know in terms of what you can put on a tray depending on what you're giving the person to eat all right so i'll start with my utensils first what i have is my cereal spoon or porridge or whatever you want uh, this is the teaspoon of course you have your fork knife and I have the bread and butter knife. What I have is teacup and saucer as well. I have, this is a sugar bowl. Very cute. I got this at Moda Live. All right. No, I'm sorry. I got, I got the spoon at Moda Live, but I got the sugar bowl at the home store. This is my very cute elephant teapot. So you can put tea, you can put coffee, or you can put hot water in it. I got this at Dwellings, okay? I have water goblet and for juice, if you're serving orange juice, fruit punch, whatever juice that you may be giving them. Of course, you have your cereal bowl and underliner. I have my food service cover. All right. And I have this plate now. It's smaller than a dinner plate. So I'll call it the breakfast plate. Okay. You can also use this size plate to serve salads as well and probably desserts. Okay. All right. I have my little milk jug, so you can put your creamer or milk in this. Salt and pepper shaker. And I have my butter dish. I also bought this at the home store. So in terms of the butter dish, what you can do is use it for multiple use so you can put half of it butter and half you can put your preserves your jams and so on okay all right okay so i also have serviettes napkins and what you'd like to do as well is to probably have paper napkins so that you can put that on a tray so that they can actually use that to wipe their mouth and not the cloth napkin all right so i'll get into it right now step by step and i'll show you all how to set your tray for breakfast okay so what i forgot to mention of course is this tray um, I bought this tray at a shop at the Normandy Hotel. It's 
is a very rustic very it's not neatly done but there was something about it that I really liked so I bought this tray and it's big enough for me to put a lot of things on it all right so the first thing that you would want to do is to line your tray okay so what I have is the napkin I'll use this one all right so first you line your tray neatly like this okay all right and then what we want to do is to put our teacup and what I'll do is I'll place the teacup and the saucer on the right hand side of the tray closely to the bottom and of course handle is at four o'clock so it's easy when your guest using their tea it's turned over like that okay so you have that and I'll put my glasses one for water one for juice to the top of the tree all right and then I will continue to put the other condiments such as your creamer or milk jug I'll have the hot water tea or coffee in the teapot on the right hand side to the top of the tray I know it's a bit tight but it can work all right and then of course I have my sugar next to the creamer okay and what I'll do is plate here oops all right let me just shift this around okay so let me just shift this around a bit so everybody can fit nicely right okay this back. all right and you have your salt and pepper shaker place it right there it's a little compact and you have your butter dish now what you also can do is use ramekins I tried to get ramekins but didn't work out so I have my butter dish that goes on the left side All right and then you have your Food, food cover which goes to the top of the plate now what I'll do now is show you all a very simple technique in how and what I'll do is of course I'll put the bread and butter nine BNB alongside the butter dish like that okay okay and what I'll do I'll show you all a very simple technique which is the serviette and what it do it what it looks like in the end is like this so I'll show you how you can have it done so you have all your utensils and your cutlery in the napkin all right, so let me demonstrate quickly hope you all can see so first you take the napkin and you fold it in a triangle all right the triangle is upside down then you fold fold the napkin I would say about one inch it depends again on the size of the napkin but this napkin is very small okay so you fold it one inch and then you turn it over like this all right and you fold the bottom left about an inch and a half and then you take the knife and you stick it like in the pocket of the napkin 
and you roll. You take the your fork and you stick it in nicely again. Tuck nicely. You roll. You have your cereal spoon. Roll again. And then you have your teaspoon. Okay. And you roll. And what you do, you can easily just put this on top of your food service cover. Now, the only thing that I didn't get was a basket. I really wanted to get a basket so I can show you all how you can do a nice fold in that basket. So you can put your breads, danishes, croissants, whatever it is for your guest. And of course, once again, it depends on what you're giving them. Once it's breakfast in bed, there should be a tray as well so the person can put the tray or a stand, you know those lovely um, bed stands that you can put the tray, you can purchase one of those and just in case you're having cereal, you may want to take the plate off, serve their cereal or their porridge, whatever it is first and then when you're through with that, of course you can put your breakfast plate and your food service cover on and last but not least well not last but not least as yet you can put paper serviette put it at the side and for presentation a little bouquet of flowers you can use fresh flowers or like me <laughs> i mixed it it's like artificial and real flowers and to give it an added touch you can probably just sprinkle some of the um, flowers what I have is bougainvillea here so all of this is for presentation when you present your tree to your guest or whoever you're entertaining all right looks very pretty Right. Hope you can see. Let me turn it this way. Right. And there you have it. Your tray for breakfast. I hope you all enjoy that short demonstration and setting your tray for breakfast. Stay tuned when I show you all how to set your table for breakfast. I want to thank those who continue to encourage me and support me on my channel. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and I will see you next video. Take care until then. Bye.